Next up, I would like to draw the Lewis structure for BRF, find the direction of the error representing the dipole moment of the molecule, estimate the percent ionic character of the BRF bond, and express your answer using two significant figures as a percentage. So first, I begin with my valence electrons. I have 7 plus 7, 14. That's my skeleton. Fill in my octets and count all of my electrons. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I can double check on my formal charges. Br has seven valence electrons minus the six in lone pairs minus the one in the bonding pair, giving you a net formal charge of zero for the Br. For fluorine, it is going to be seven minus six minus one, yielding a zero two. This all makes sense, so this is a correct Lewis structure. Now I need to draw my dipole. And so my dipole is going to be from the less electronegative one to the more electronegative one. The reasoning for that is because the less electronegative one will form a partial positive charge, and the more electronegative one will form a partial negative charge, and the dipole should point from the positive end to the negative end. And so if I look at my electronegativities again, I see fluorine. I already know it's the most electronegative one, but I just want to double check has an electronegativity of 3.98, bromine has 2.96. We already know from just the periodic table itself that electronegativity is increasing to the right and going up. And so I expected this result already based off of what you're told in um, general chemistry. And so that means that for this molecule, you're gonna have a partial positive here partial negative here, and your dipole is going to point in this direction. Now, I'm told to express my answer, um, sorry, I'm told to estimate the percent ionic character. There's a formula for that. So my percent ionic character is going to be 1 minus e to the power of negative, the difference in electronegativity over 2 squared and then by 100 because it's a percentage. And so that is going to be, first you need to find the difference in electronegativity. And that is going to be 3.98 minus 2.96. Just one moment. And that is going to give us 1.02. Your value may be different, but it should be close depending on what resource you use for the electronegativity values. And so we're going to get 1.02, which means this value is going to be 0 0.2601. And so my percent ionic character is going to be 1 minus e to the negative 0 0.2601 by 100. You just pop that into a calculator and you should get roughly 23%. And that's going to be your answer. Sorry, it seems I used, yeah, and so in this case, you can see that this person used um, the electronegativity values to like one decimal point, and this would give you 4.0 minus 2.8, giving you that 1.2 that they squared. And so just be very, very careful about the significant figures that you're using if you want your answer to be more accurate. Okay, and those are all of the questions that I have for you today. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you'd like to be notified when we do post more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. If you'd like to be able to post questions of your own, be sure to check out the links in the description. This has been Marlon from One Class, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.